Hello everyone and happy Sabbath. I just wanted to share another video with you on Proverbs 31. We're on verse 13 and 14. Proverbs 31 and verse 13, look what it says. It says, she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Seeketh wool and flax. Flax is another term for linen. So she is a productive woman. She seeketh after wool. She seeketh after working with her hands. And in this case, sewing. In this case, bringing materials together. But she says that she willingly works with her hands. Who else worked with their hands? Let's give some examples in the Bible. Let's go to Acts chapter 18 and verse 3. This is talking about Paul and Aquila and Priscilla. And it says, And because he was of the same craft, he abode with them and wrought. For by their occupation they were tent makers. So Paul worked with his hands. Priscilla worked with her hands. Aquila worked with his hands. Willingly. This is the virtuous woman described in Proverbs 31. She works with her hands. She seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands. Who else is an example in the Bible? It says in Acts chapter 9, verse 36 and verse 39. 36 to give the context. It says, Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and alms deed, which she did. She worked for the poor. She was engaged in ministry. We learn that this is the virtuous woman. We know the story of Dorcas. She was a faithful woman, but she passed away. But Peter is going to bring her back by the power of God. Acts chapter 9 and verse 39, it says, Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the chamber, and all the widows stood by him weeping and showing the coats and the garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. So Dorcas was also seeking wool and flax, linen, she was a worker with her hands, willingly working with her hands. Dorcas is a great example of a virtuous woman working with her hands for God. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. And before we go to Revelation chapter 1, if you remember, Christ also worked with his hands. He was a carpenter. He willingly worked in his hands. Willingly means you love to do it. You have a liking towards it. And so you don't mind it. You don't mind laboring with your hands. You don't mind learning trades. Revelation chapter 1 uh, and verse 13 and 14, it says, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were like wool. His head and his hairs were like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So when it says in Proverbs 31, 13, that she seeketh wool and flax, she seeketh Jesus Christ within her life. And that's why she is willingly wanting to work with her hands. This is a virtuous woman, friends. Look what it says in Colossians chapter 3 in verse 23. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily or willingly as to the Lord and not unto men. Do it heartily unto the Lord, whatever you do. This is the virtuous woman that seeks out Jesus Christ within her life so that whatever she partakes in, whatever duties that she participates in, it is unto the Lord. 
This is from Medical Ministry. It says, the Lord has encouraged those who have started out their own responsibility to work for him, their hearts filled with love for souls ready to perish. A true missionary spirit will be imparted to those who seek earnestly to know God and Jesus Christ whom he hath sent. This is the story of Ruth, friends. You remember what we discussed on Ruth is that she was willing. She earnestly sought the Lord. And as we earnestly seek the Lord, the Lord is going to give us work to do. The Lord is going to give us that desire to willingly work with our hands. Even if it's in the linen, even if it's in the wool, clothing material. Then it says, the Lord lives and reigns. Young men go forth into the places to which you are directed by the Spirit of God. Or young women, go forth. Then it says, work with your hands that ye may be self-supporting and as you have opportunity, proclaim the message of warning, just like Paul and Priscilla and Aquila, just like um, Dorcas, just like the virtuous woman. Obtain a ministry of working with your hands and spreading the gospel. Not afraid to work with your hands also is a trait. Proverbs 31 and verse 14 now, it says, She is like the merchant's ships. She bringeth her food from afar. She bringeth her food from afar. Friends, what are merchant ships? Merchants are ships that uh, you're able to trade, you're able to buy, you're able to sell. But it says that she bringeth her food from afar. So she's willing not to get something that's convenient and, and on the surface, but she's willing to dig deep for the bargains. She's willing to be that provider, to provide the best quality in whatever she is trading, whatever she is buying. She does it unto the Lord. She makes sure that everything is in line with what the Lord has told her to do. So merchant ships, they bring goods that were otherwise also not even available. She's willing to go out far to be able to bring what's best even for her family. They also allowed people to sell goods they themselves produce. So she is like a merchant ship. She is willing to go to the depths to be able to bring the best quality, the best nourishment for the family. And this applies to the husband as well, bringing the best nourishment for his family. This can be applied spiritually this woman is willing to go deep in God's word to find nourishment for her family, to share the messages of truth so that they may give the best of God's word and not just the milk of the word. They want to give the meat of the word. And so when it says she is like the merchant ship, she bringeth her food from afar, this is spiritually talking about the spiritual food, the Word of God. She's willing to dive deep in the Word of God, have a relationship with Christ to be able to supply nourishment to not only her family, but her family at large, God's family. This is the virtuous woman, friends. And I, I want to encourage you to be able to establish working with your hands. If you're a man, if you're a woman seeking marriage, it is time to start working with your hands and willingly grow a likeness to it. Grow 
a love to it, but only as you seek wool and flax, as you seek Christ within your heart, he will put that desire in you and you can be just like Paul, just like Christ, just like Aquila and Priscilla, having a trade, having working with your hands, but for the purpose of spreading the gospel. So I hope that you were blessed and may God continue to work upon your heart that you may be that virtuous man and virtuous woman to answer the question, who shall find a virtuous woman? Who shall find a virtuous man? And you can say, here am I, Lord, send me. God bless.